Hi guys, this is Scrivily again with another pen review. This time we're having a look at one of the latest Lamy releases, which is the Lamy Lux that comes in this nice packaging here. I got this pen here for review from penworld.eu in Antwerpen in Belgium. Thank you very much for sending me that pen for review. I really enjoy that pen. Let's have a look at it. The Lamy Lux is sort of an upgraded version or luxury version, as the name indicates, of the Lamy All Star. And it's coming in four colors. Um, Palladium, which is the one that I got here, and then it comes in Ruthen Ruthenium, which is like a sort of a graphite, dark gray slash blackish color. And then it comes in a pinkish rose gold and in a gold color. So the nice thing about the Lamy Lux is that each of those four available different finishes or colors uh, comes in the matching gift box. It doesn't come in this standard small uh, um, Lamy cardboard boxes that the All Star and the Safari normally come in, but it comes in this nice metal box here. The pen sits in that like that. The box, of course, is Kind of useless afterwards. I don't know if you could get that stuff here out and then maybe somehow use it as a pencil box. I've not tried that. But then you have the Lamy Lux sitting in here, which looks nice and presentable. That is some kind of rubber stuff in here that sort of protects the pen when it's shipped and transported and all that. Put that aside. Small brochure sitting under the clip. Of course, I've already inked the pen. You see ink window here. Nice. Has Rohre and Klingner Fernam book inside. Uh, get a small booklet with, I don't know, a couple of information it contains. Yeah, the four different available colors. So we have the gold, rose gold, the palladium that I got here. And then this, you know, graphite color ruthenium that I was just talking about and then a little bit of information about the Lux uh, refined metal clip glossy black steel nib PVD coated and so on nice so that's what the pen looks like it kind of looks like a all-star which I also have here and I also have a Lamy Safari here so we can like hop forth and back in between those pens a little bit to do a couple of comparisons but let's have a look at the pen that we're talking about right now at first well I think almost anyone is familiar with the looks of the all-star and the safari so there's nothing really not, not really much to say about it has a quite it's a quite large pen in general the all-star and the safaris are quite large pens so is the lux the dimensions are exactly the same it's exactly the same dimensions than the all-stars which is slightly different the all-star is slightly different than the 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 safari which is a little bit more lightweight in 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 weight of course so round cap this cross crossed or whatever you want to call that finial here this very very lovely iconic large sort of wire clip which i really really enjoy because it's super usable keeping the pen in your shirt pocket or I might want to say rather in a pen pouch probably because that pen is a bit long for your shirt pocket. will probably stick out like that. Here's a fairly long pen. Then you have like this typical barrel. You have a small cap that finishes off the bottom here with a hole inside saying Germany in here that is kind of polished. All the applications, everything is always in the same finish than the pen's color. So that is in palladium, that is in palladium, that is a matching metal finish and so will it be with the other four different colors. So the ruthenium one will be dark gray graphite slash black here and here and here as well. You uncap the pen, you have the same section than you find on the All Star, right? It's like um, translucent black, smoky black section here that allows you also to see the ink inside a little bit so, sort of a small demonstrator effect you see the feed in here you see Rohr and Klingner Fernand book in here a little bit and then of course you have this really nice ink window that lets you I appreciate that feature a lot that lets you see the ink level even when the pen is capped you don't need to uncap the pen or unscrew anything to see how much ink you have left in your pen um, and then what's also a really nice feature about that pen here is the Lamy logo, which is kind of semi-hidden, right? I mean, you see it, 
but you also sort of don't see it, right? It's definitely, it's definitely very understated and depending on how you hold the, light, the pen into or how you angle it into the light, you will see it a little bit more or a little bit less. It's kind of understated, definitely doesn't just jump into your face. And then we have a look at the nib. This is not a set, just the standard set 50 nib that the All Stars and Safaris come with. Uh, I, I don't remember actually what that nib here is called. It has a different name, but it's also black, but it has this, this little, you know, line running around here. It's like goldish line running around here. But writing wise, I got it in medium here. Writing wise to me, it sort of feels the same than the set 50 nib. Um, when we compare, and uh, that is probably what you want to do, compare the uh, the Lamy Lux to the Lamy All Star, because also you know when we're talking about the price, um, it's a rather expensive version of the All Star, I might want to say. So it's probably not going to be everyone's pen, because like the All Star, which is essentially the same pen, costs around 25 euro. Um, 28 euro depends on where you're getting it from 22 euro and the lux costs between 48 and 55 euro let's say around 50 euro so it's roughly twice the price of the all-star and uh, you know the only difference is basically between those two pens is that the all-stars cap here is plastic and that one here with the lux this is metal um, the clip is I think always not always black on the all-star sometimes it's silver depends on the finish that you get it in uh, but it doesn't always now it's by by accident it matches the black barrel of that black pen here but um doesn't always match the the barrel like with the lux versions where the clip always match the barrel and then on the uh on the on the lower side of the pen on the bottom uh, that one here on the all-star is also plastic and metal on the lux and then the nibs are different this coated nib here uh, which has a yeah you know a little a deeper black appearance and uh, this uh, standard set 50 here on the all-star which looks slightly different so these are the differences between those two pens writing wise i find them to be almost pretty much exactly the same so is it worth it for you to pay double the price for a Lux then you would have to pay for an all-star pretty much up to you to determine I think if you if you're a great fan of the all-star and you just want something a wee bit nicer looking a little bit more upmarket looking which they definitely do they look a little bit more upmarket then you might want to go for it if you're a great fan of that series or if you already have a couple of all stars and you just want to like you know like extend your lineup of your collection a little bit then that might also be a pen for you what's left for us to be done is a writing sample with that pen zoom in in a little bit and to no surprise really nice nib really nice writing performance i rarely have problems with Lamy nibs sometimes I, I ran into problems and I had to smoothen like the nibs were a little bit over polished so I had to like you know like roughen them up a little bit not smoothen them but rather roughen them up a little bit but not with that nib that wrote really fine out of the box so here we have the Lamy Lux with a medium nib Very nice smooth writing experience. It has this typical Lamy feeling that, um, you know, it just feels like a little bit like writing with a pencil. It just gives you that little amount of feedback that lets you know that you're actually writing. It's not a particular, particularly wet or, or dry nib. Just all right, just somewhere there, smack in the middle. Um, Thunam Book is also like a medium, medium ink. What I can do is I can compare that medium here to a yeah, Z50 medium. I have a Lamy All Star here that is inked, uh, Lamy Safari, of course, here that is inked with uh, Jay Harbin, Emerald of Shiwar. Sometimes, this is a Safari with a medium nib. Sometimes, depending on the ink, I do find the medium of the Lux 
to be a wee bit finer and maybe you can sort of sense that here. I find the medium of the Lux a wee bit finer than the medium set 50 nib, but I don't know, that might now, it depends a little bit on the ink, that might now be the ink, it might also be a slight inconsistency in between the nib width with Lamy in general. So not, not any, any two mediums are maybe not always the same, but um, I just thought I might point that out. All in all, I find this a really, really nice pen. I, I'm a great fan of Lamy pens in general. I have a Lamy 2000, I have a couple of Safaris and All Stars and all that laying around. I have Lamy Studios. I really like those pens. Um, 50 euro, double the price of the All Star. Do you wanna pay it? Gotta find it out for yourself. I think it's a really nice pen and if you already have a couple of All Stars, you might wanna check out penworld.eu and um, yeah, maybe get your Lamy Lux. As always, I hope that review was useful to you and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.